I'd like to begin. I'd like to begin by thanking Congressman Jim Jordan and other members of the committee for giving the opportunity to testify. Nearly two years ago, on May 20, 2021, I received a call no parent should ever receive. On the other hand, was my son Joseph, who clearly told me he was okay, but sad to be beaten out of Times Square. He was needing medical attention. He handed the phone to the NYPD, who were extremely helpful and very supportive, and did the best they possibly can. I was told they'd bring him to the emergency room in Bellevue Hospital. Without hesitation, I made a straight beeline straight to Manhattan, got in my car, and drove to Manhattan. Um, I got to the hospital. It was hard to believe what my son looked like. His face was beaten. His, his, his face was sprayed with mace. They punched him. One fellow hit him with crutches. In Times Square, broad daylight, all because he's wearing a yarmulke going to a pro-Israel rally. Now, I'm in New York my whole life. I'm 57. Never had problems like this. It was just very shocking to hear this. Um, I, and it was just like horrible, horrible thing. My wife and I, my wife is at home. She couldn't come with me. It was COVID. Only one person go to the hospital. I sit in front of the community, two year anniversary of the attack rap rapidly approaching, and the ongoing struggle with DA Bragg. This has been going on for two years. They have a f film of this in black and white from people on the street and Times Square. It's an open and shut case. And DA Bragg is just schlepping this case along with no solution, offering deal after deal. One fellow, um, Wasim Awade, was, was, was hitting my son with crutch, was offered, an L was offered a sweetheart deal, didn't take it yet. He was let out on probation. As he's getting out of the court, as, you can see, as, he, as he's getting out of jail, the friends are dancing with him on his shoulders. He said, I will do this again. I would, said, I will do this again. He had no, no qualms about doing it again, about being up another Jewish person. And in fact, while he was out on, on bail, he had an incident with a road rage with an elderly man on the street. Bragg brought him in again, nothing. Just go out and behave yourself. This just emboldened him to act, and he doesn't care. I've been in three court hearings and basically nothing has happened in three court hearings here in Lower Manhattan, a couple buildings down. And it's just very disheartening that I sit here today and um, nothing is getting done. My son Joseph was invited to the White House to appear at, in front of Joe Biden, our president, and um, a bunch of Kamala Harris and so forth. And he, this was not a partisan issue. There's an issue where they were beating up Asians in New York nonstop, no repercussions. Beating up Jews, p putting, pushing people in the subways in the tracks, no repercussions. It's just, it's, it's hard to understand what goes on. And here this fellow is offered, one fellow is offered a deal, no jail time, he only punched my son once. This is what Bragg was offering to someone, hit my son once, okay, one time, okay, we'll give you a slap on it, you go and play video games for six months. It's just disgusting. Um, now, in the past couple of years since the accident, the incident happened, my son had uh, surgery on his wrist, he likes to play basketball, he's very uncomfortable to play basketball, and it's just, among other things, it affects his whole life. It's just, it's just a terrible, terrible thing. He has physical therapy three days a week, and these, these six individuals are walking the streets, roaming around, like nothing, not care in the world. And it's almost two years. I mean, unfortunately, down to Madeline, so it's four years. It's just, it's horrible. It's just, it, they're pushing plea bargains back before nothing gets done. Um, we have heard from, um, when my son got be, um, beaten up by these six individuals, we heard from many politicians. But um, I must quote, Mayor Adams was a candidate, Hoka, Governor Hoka, I must uh, uh, take notice with Mr. Nadler. You're a Jewish New Yorker. I called your office numerous times. I called Mr. Schumer's office, another Jewish New Yorker, numerous times. No one called us back. Neither one of you came out of statement on my son's incident. Okay? You're a Jewish New Yorker. You have Jewish roots here. At behavior like this enables D.A. Bragg to just do whatever he wants to do. If you guys would have come out with a statement from Washington that we condemn anti this beating to Mr. Borg and son, we condemn anti said we condemn this act. Maybe Mr. Bragg would have taken this case a little more seriously, and I call you out on it. And, I'm, and most of my friends, I am so disheartened with you and Mr. Schumer. You don't understand. We wouldn't vote for Mr. Schumer again if we stood on our head. And if I lived in Manhattan, I wouldn't vote for you either. And I will tell you something else that bothers me. Everybody's here with gun control. Somehow the criminals can get guns. But the average person you can't get a gun. I just came back from Miami after two weeks. All my friends who moved out there, many, many of my friends, all have gun licenses. And there's a deterrent there. If someone goes after you, there's a chance that the person they're going to attack has a way to defend himself. Here in New York, we can't get guns. The criminals walk around shooting people and get guns nonstop. It's just, it's unbelievable. And a gun charge comes to Mr. Bragg. Misdemeanor, no problem, walk the streets. I remember Plaxico Burris, if you remember, the New York Giants was a wide receiver. He was a nightclub the Giants were 10 and 1. He went to a nightclub, accidentally shot himself with a gun. I think Robin Morgenthau, the DA at the time, 
Plaxo Burris went to jail for 18 months, if you remember. He was a football star in New York. They need him that they would run the Super Bowl again. Here in New York now, you come with a gun. Okay, d don't do it again. We'll see you, we'll see you again. It's just this disgusting. And it's a chutzpah what goes on. It's a Jewish word chutzpah. What goes on in this district, this, I haven't been in Manhattan for social events. I will not come for a restaurant. I will not come for, uh, to the garden for a ball game. I won't go to a Broadway show. I will not step foot in Manhattan. I have a friend of mine who likes to go to Broadway shows, matinees. You know what they do now? They get a group of 30 people. They get on a bus, park in front of the theater, walk into the theater. Don't walk around, no shopping. They then get on a bus, go to a predetermined restaurant, and they walk out to, to the restaurant, go on a bus, and go home. That's all the interaction I have in Manhattan. I would just like to say thank you for listening to me, and I hope some good comes from this. Thank you, Mr. Gorgon.